What's going on guys? Kevin here to bring you a brand new video where today we're going to be going over day 9 of Horror October and for today's film, the film that we have decided to watch is Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> what a movie. Um, and I'm recording this late unfortunately because it's just it's been tough to get around to this so I apologize for the late video. So, yeah, um, there were some issues as far as uh, being able to watch yesterday's movie. Um, so, go back to last Friday, and I had this issue where I fell asleep trying to watch a movie. And this Friday, yesterday, I also had an issue with watching a movie where I fell asleep. Um, so... It was basically the same thing happened again. I watched the movie for like 10 minutes and then fell asleep. It, it was like 10 minutes that I actually fell asleep at. Not even I didn't even like get to like the 20 minute mark. Um, I was just that tired. Um, and this movie was kind of like not... I wasn't like into it early on. So I guess I kind of like had a reason to fall asleep to it. Like... I basically only saw the part at the beginning where Thomas Jane uh, saves these like people at the beginning, and that's really about it. Um, I hadn't really seen much that I could remember after that, so yeah, it was unfortunate, but I ended up watching it uh, this morning, uh, and that was, that was good that I uh, got to watch it this morning, so it, it wasn't so bad, um, and I thought the movie was was pretty solid um, I'll just say that I, I just liked how it got like really scientific um, they tried to get like super like scientific on it about like what they were doing as far as like researching these sharks and like what they could do with them and they were doing like this thing where they were like adding like protein to them and making them like smarter uh as a result and it was it was to do like research on like um potentially like helping with like brain disease i guess like i don't even know like a lot of stuff was said in that movie that i could not really comprehend and i don't think you know that like intellectual of like dialogue was really meant for this movie just because of how like meme it is and how like it's hard to like it's hard to like take this movie seriously so i feel like it just did not fit in with like the movie as a whole um and like like at one point they're like the neurons the neurons are firing i'm like okay cool like <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I would say, like, it, it was definitely not as good in the first half just because of that alone. Um, the movie is still, like, fine overall, and the first half isn't really that bad, even with all that weird scientific dialogue going on. Um, it's still, like, a decent movie overall in the beginning, and, and then it gets a lot better um, in, like, the second half when they're, like, you know, actually trying to, like, survive against the sharks um and it's it's pretty intense all the way through with the, they're basically stuck underwater and they're trying to like evade from these sharks and they're they have to do whatever they can to escape not drown you know get to the surface avoid getting getting eaten um yeah it's it's all pretty good um there is one really absurd part where uh, Stellan Skarsgård had gotten his arm chewed off, and he was gonna be, like, taken away in this helicopter, but this weird-ass moment happens that I think is, like, the most cringy part of the movie, where, like, his body is, like, is, like, hanging from a cable from the helicopter, like, the helicopter's, like, here, and his body's, like, here from a cable, and it just, like, goes in the water, <laughs> And then, like, the helicopter can't, like, lift it up for some reason. It gets, like, jammed. Like, I don't even know. And then, like, 
the shark, <laughs> the freaking shark doesn't eat him. It the shark takes the cart with his body and jams the cart into the glass so that the glass in the uh, tower will break and then uh, the others will have to like try to like evade and it's just like it's just like ridiculous with that that whole that whole premise to like set up for that like them starting to have to like run from the sharks is just like a little nutty I think I thought that LL Cool J wouldn't be good in this movie at all but he's actually a freaking legend I love LL Cool J in this movie he actually pops off and he's fucking awesome to watch <laughs> it's so weird to say that but he is so fucking epic in this movie he pulls off so many amazing yeets and jukes to like survive and it's just so good and like he has some like good comedic moments like within all that too and just like he actually like is fucking amazing in this movie and it's hilarious oh my god he he like saved this movie for me really like like he was like so close to dying so many times like he like climbed into an oven to survive he he like set off an explosion in the kitchen to kill a shark he like he just did like so much like ridiculous stuff to survive and it's just it's just awesome i just i just love it all um early on he does like make like a couple like stupid like wisecracking jokes with his parrot which is just like a little a little cringy but like otherwise like when he's like you know trying to survive it's it's pretty fun and uh thomas jane also did a really good performance in this as well as like the main character i thought he really uh carried it well through and uh samuel jackson uh <laughs> was interesting too um uh, he was a good good character to put in the mix he was kind of like the outsider who was trying to like see like what these people were doing I knew from the beginning before I even watched this movie that Samuel L. Jackson dies because that's like one of the most like the number one thing that's talked about in this movie is that Samuel Jackson's death is like the best part of the movie <laughs> and it's like so hilarious and it is kind of hilarious but at the same time like I saw that shit coming from like a mile away like he sta he's like standing by the water like right next to the water and he, he's like giving this like speech and like the camera just like zooms in on him and you're just like oh no Samuel Jackson no you, you just you just could see it coming which is kind of shitty in a way but but yeah the movie ends the movie ends pretty cool like LL Cool J clutches the fuck up he s stabs a shark in the eye with a cross and he helps uh, Thomas Jane's character kill this final shark and yeah it's just it's just pretty good um, but you know you can't like get through a movie and get to the end of it and say like oh my god that was amazing look at that awesome ending like you really have to like look at it as a whole and when I'm looking at it as a whole I do see that like like a lot of like the early parts just weren't that good and just didn't fit with like the rest of the movie so I do have to like judge it fully based on that so with that being said I'm gonna give this movie a 7.7 .7 out of 10 still pretty good rating I think it's I think it's a solid fun movie with you know a few flaws here and there so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video Make sure to leave a like if you have, and subscribe to see more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.